you could think of the body as being made up of, you know, 30 to 50 trillion life forms. And they are not in themselves um, full of the consciousness of God. And therefore the body collectively has demands on our person. Uh, you know, we're occupying this city of nine gates, if you like. Um, and its members are not enlightened. It's not that they're not, they have the presence of God, but they don't know it. They don't have the consciousness that we collectively have, or rather that we have in our spirit. So, they have needs which pull on and conflict with the godly values that we have. We're born of God. Um, in the sense that we have received new personhood, one with values either the same as God or harmonious God. But we have the conflicting demands in us too of the body that press upon us. And uh, there is some conflict. Um, now, those life forms, the N trillion of them, if we think of it like that, they have needs too. They have a karma, they have a... They're our citizens, if you like. And we do all we can to give them ultimate consciousness of God that we have in the spiritual. So, we give way to some of their demands. It's not clear that it's actually to our cost, because we give way out of love. The body needs rest, so we rest. The body needs food, so we, we work for food, perhaps. So, you know, we go and eat, we go and find it. We give time to that. We meet the body's needs. Um, we do it on a, a regional thing in that we take care of an injured limb. We do it on a overall thing. You see, our Heavenly Father's not compromised in meeting some of the insistent demands that we put upon Him. They are not in answering them, they're not necessarily what's quite best for us, but best in the circumstances in which we're expressing a need and a petition to him. And it's right that he shows loving kindness in response. And, and we're like that with the body too. We may give way to uh, various demands. Um, and not be as spiritual in our accomplishment in the day as we should. I'm not clear that that is... You see, we are still we, the sovereign soul, if you like, um, born of God. It's untouched by all that goes on. I don't mean by that that we should therefore um, ourselves be pursuing well we wouldn't want to I mean it, it's not a, it's not an option uh, I the spiritual me does not want to pursue something that's ungodly not in harmony with the goodness of God but I may 
find it right to meet the needs, the requests of others when it's right to do so, because they need to experience such. They need um, perhaps some confirmation that I am caring of them and concerned for them, not just myself. Do you see, in some sense, God compromises his goodness a great deal in the classroom in order to demonstrate the outcome of evil and what evil would be and uh, to give us an abhorrence of it and a desire for the good. So he allows a manifestation of evil to come to us that we learn by it and are reviled by it. I see it as something like that. So, you know, in, in Christian jargon terms, we're saved. That's all there is to it. Um, the me that now is is a new man, a new creation. Uh, has a value system which is intact and has life eternal. Is consistent with truth, with God, with all goodness. That's who we are. We're born again, born of God. Now how we behave actually depends on that divine will and purpose in us. So we may be seen to do some things that are not what God would choose except for the demands of um, some life form that needs to experience something might be needs to experience uh, relief or even to experience, you see, satisfaction of evil wants in order to find out that such brings nothing but harm and therefore you build a repellence to such. You see, we are to judge righteous judgment. We judge in faith. Uh, person is born again. They might seem to be doing, giving way to perhaps all sorts of sins. But perhaps there's a good reason. Perhaps they and God are right to have this happen. We judge righteous judgment in trust, in trust in God, in trust in them, in trust in the goodness of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Love you.